Do you have a 1978 dollar coin that's silver in color? Wondering if it might be valuable? You're in the right place to find out. In this article, we'll explore the value of the 1978 silver dollar, the factors that influence its worth, and the design and history behind this coin. First off, despite its appearance, the 1978 silver dollar isn't made of silver. While earlier dollar coins contained silver, the 1978 dollar does not. The silver hue comes from a copper and nickel alloy cladding with a pure copper core. This coin is part of the Eisenhower dollar series, named for former President Dwight D. Eisenhower, whose image appears on the front. The series began in 1971 and ended in 1978. Eisenhower, who passed away in March 1969, was honored with a coin, though there was debate about whether it should be made from silver. At the time, silver prices were rising, and producing a silver coin would have been costly, but some felt using base metals would dishonor Eisenhower's memory. As a compromise, most Eisenhower dollars were made from a copper-nickel clad, though a small number were produced in a silver alloy. In 1975 and 1976, special bicentennial editions were struck with new reverse designs. While most were clad, a few silver alloy coins were also produced. However, after 1976, only clad Eisenhower dollars were minted. The silver versions were too costly to produce, and the coin's large size and weight made them unpopular for everyday use. By 1979, the Eisenhower dollar was replaced by the smaller Susan B. Anthony dollar. The obverse of the Eisenhower dollars, designed by chief engraver Frank Gasparro, features a stern profile of Eisenhower based on a sketch from a World War II victory parade. The word liberty is inscribed above, and the motto, In God We Trust, appears on the left with the date at the bottom. Some coins also have mint marks, with S for San Francisco and D for Denver. Coins without mint marks were made in Philadelphia. In 1978, the Philadelphia Mint struck over $25 million coins, and even in very good condition, most are only worth their face value. However, to determine a coin's true value, you need to assess its condition using a grading scale from 1 to 70. Minor differences in grade can significantly affect a coin's value. If your coin hasn't been professionally graded, you can either have it assessed by independent agencies like PCGs, NGC, or Annex, though this involves a fee, or consult online resources to estimate its grade. A 1978 Philadelphia dollar graded XF45 extremely fine will only be worth face value. Mint state coins which have never been circulated are more valuable. For example, a 1978 Philadelphia dollar graded MS60, the lowest mint state grade, is worth around $5. A coin graded MS65, gem condition, is valued at approximately $32. Coins beyond this grade become rarer and more valuable, with MS66 coins worth around $160, and MS-66 Plus coins reaching $750. The highest grade, MS-67, has only 12 known examples certified by PCGs, valued at $7,500 each. The Denver Mint produced over 33 million Eisenhower dollars in 1978, identifiable by the D-Mint mark above the date. These coins follow similar value trends, with circulated coins worth face value and MS-60 coins valued at around $5. However, Denver coins graded MS-65 are slightly more valuable, at $45, with MS-66 coins worth $225, before returning to the same value as Philadelphia coins at MS-66+, $750, 